Mayor, I'd like to call the regular meeting of the Elmwood Park Mayor and Council to order for July 19, 2018 at 8 p.m. On roll call, Council Members Balsiri, yes. Cherto, Dombrowski, here, Jim Domenico, here. Pellegrin, here, Bolabek, here, Mayor Catamani. Mayor, before we have the flag suit and prayer, I'd ask everyone to please rise uh, for the color guard from the Elmwood Park Fire Department to enter the chamber. from a heart and in plain name, pure sense of justice, the glory of all to be the Almighty. By that and our deliberation, prayer, and our position, we'll always please you and praise you with peace, gladness, and our community. Amen. Our colleagues, please join us in the flag. Do you believe it? Yes, sir. Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of the State of New Jersey requires that the commencement of any meeting of state makers and powers be read by the presiding officer. Now, therefore, be advised that the meeting requirement for this meeting has been met by publishing an annual meeting notice in the records in the Herring Mill of Woodland Park and by posting such a notice in the office of the Borough Clerk as well in a public place within the municipal building by notifying interested citizens. Said the notice was posted on January 4, 2018. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is being, being uh, videotaped and will be on Cablevision, Channel 77, on Tuesdays at 12 p.m., Thursdays 9 a.m., and Fridays 8 p.m. The video is also available on the borough website www.emmutparknj.us. Mayor, this evening under the approval of minutes, we have the April, 20, April 12, 2018 work session minutes, the May 10, 2018 work session minutes, the June 21, 2018 regular meeting minutes, and the July 5, 2018 executive session minutes. May I have a motion to approve these minutes? So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. On roll call, Council Members Ballastieri? Yes. Cherdo? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion carries. Mayor, at this time, we'll move on to the Mayor's citation uh, to Battalion Chief Robert Bruce. I'd like to ask Chief Shadwell to come forward to the podium for his remarks. At this time, will Battalion Chief Robert Bruce please come forward? Would you come here, please. The Borough Park, Bergen County, New Jersey, 
mayor certificates. <clears throat> Second Battalion Chief Robert Bruce, a hero for your quick action, which led to saving a four-year-old girl from drowning. Thank you, sir. On behalf of the fire department, I would like to present you with your CPR save accommodation. States, CPR save awarded to Battalion Chief Robert Bruce. You are hereby commended for your outstanding actions on July 2nd, 2018 with a CPR save of young life. Assistant Chief Sewell will be pinning him with his CPR citation bar. Chief Bruce, we'd like to invite your family to come up and stand next to you. Yes, you didn't expect this, but come on up and stand next to your husband, family. Chief, I know um, the council would also like to speak to you, but I'd just like to say to you that in, in a day and age where this world, we use the word hero so many times, we call a baseball player for hitting a home run over the fence and winning a game a hero. We call movie stars a hero. We use that word so loosely in, this, in, our, in our society, and I want to say that you, what you did on July 1st, sitting at home, just minding your own business and hearing the screams for help, you ran out of your house, you took, you took action, you took control of the situation. You calmly took control of the situation. You were first on scene. There was no fire department. There was no ambulance. And you were able to bring this young girl back. Chief, you are a hero. You are what a hero stands for. And I congratulate you. I'm sure the family of the young girl congratulates you. And thank you. I'd like to call Ron uh, Presley. Ron Presley. There you are. The Borough Emerald Park, Bergen County, New Jersey, Mayor Certificate. Ron Presley, thank you for your 50 years of service with the Emerald Park Fire Department. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Chief. We'd also like to invite the Chief's family to come up and stand next to him. Mm -hmm. Any family members like to join the Chief? Chief, on behalf of the Elmwood Park Fire Department, we'd like to present to you the Certificate of Appreciation, which is presented to former Fire Chief Ronald Pressler. You are hereby commended for your 50 years of outstanding service to the Elmwood Park Fire Department. Thank you and congratulations. Chief, on behalf of the department, I'd like to thank you for all your years of dedicated service. Um, you were always an inspiration to me. I watched you, and uh, I think you did an excellent job helping the whole community out throughout these years. Thank you again. All right, uh, this is for Pompey Diarco. Fire, fire official for the borough, uh, active firefighter for 50 years, 
Pompey, please come up and accept the certificate of appreciation. Thank you. The Border Animal Park, Bergen County, New Jersey, Mayor Certificate, Pompey Darko. Thank you for your 50 years of service with the Emerald Park Fire Department. And uh, I'll say more comments for you later. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, Pompey, I'll start with you. Okay. Pompey Darko, thank you for your 50 years of active dedication and service to the Borough Emerald Park. July 19, 2018. Thank you, sir. Okay. Well, on behalf of the department, I'd like to thank you for all the years you dedicated to Elmo Park Fire Department as a firefighter. And again, you've helped us tremendously throughout the years as fire prevention uh, official. Thank you. Poppy. <clears throat> Poppy, do you want your wife and your family to come up and join you as well, please? Ms. Diarco, I'd like to wish you well. I know Poppy is now retiring. You're going to have him with you 24-7 going forward. I wish you a lot of luck. <laughs> She's going to go get a job. <laughs> On behalf of the mayor and the council, I know that my council members also want to speak, but I just would like to thank both Poppy Diarco and uh, uh, former Chief Ken Pressler for, Ron, excuse me, I knew I was going to get in trouble and screw that up. <laughs> There's so many Presslers in this town that we thank them for that, to be honest with you. But uh, Poppy, you, you served this community for over 50 years, not only as a firefighter, but as a fire prevention officer. And, and Ron, you still to this day go to fire calls uh, after, after all these years. I congratulate the both of you and we thank you from the bottom of our heart uh, for all that you have done for Elmo Park. And we wish you well. We congratulate you, Poppy, on your retirement. Enjoy wherever you decide to go. I know that you've uh, outlasted a war. You've outlasted two mayors, maybe three mayors, I think. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you've, you've been, you've been a, a, a pillar of the fire department and we thank you for that. And again, we thank you, Ron, as well. Congratulations, thank you, everybody. Norma, the, the Italians, we go like this. If you're trying to understand what I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Is yep. anyone from the council would like to say something? Uh, Rob, Ronnie, and uh, and Pompey, uh, it is uh, it is a, is a pleasure to, to be honoring the three of you tonight. You guys are amazing role models uh, for the community, for everybody in this room, and uh, and we can only hope to strive to uh, to live up to the to the role model that you are today. Thank you for your service. I want to thank um, Battalion Chief Robert Bruce for your quick actions and your professionalism. You saved a life, and we are so proud of you and grateful for your quick actions. You really are a true hero. To Pompey Diarco and Ronald Pressler, 50 years of service to our community. What an accomplishment. Thank you so much for serving our community and being so dedicated to the residents of Elmwood Park. Congratulations. To Chief Bruce, um, as a mother of two young children, the story truly um, hits home. So thank you for your hero heroic actions and your quick thinking and saving a little girl. Um, to Ron Pressler and Pompey, thank you. 50 years is a great accomplishment. You took time away from your families for calls, for training, and your dedication to the town is noticeable. Thank you. Thank you. 
uh, to, to Ron and Pompey. Uh, wow, 50 years. That time must have really uh, went by fast. Um, it's just amazing. It's, it's to dedicate that much time and thank you to the families because you really do put a lot of time and you do take a lot of time from your families. So in 50 years of it, uh, thank you. Thank you to all of you. Uh, and for Ch Chief Robert Bruce, we are very proud um, to, to be in a, a situation like that and to respond the way you did. It, it can't be easy for anyone, especially with a small child. And uh, we are very, very fortunate to have you with us. And um, you're definitely a true hero. Thank you so much. Chief Bruce, you are indeed a hero. Uh, I think we all wonder, what would we do if we ever get into a situation where our life is right in front of us? I think we all say we would spring into action and do the right thing, but we all know that the emotions of the moment could bring us to different decisions. Um, but we know what you would do, and you did uh, the noble and, and brave thing, and we thank you for that. Uh, to Mr. Diarco and Mr. Pressler, you know, when we think about who gives 50 years to anything, our police officers don't serve for 50 years. Our teachers don't serve for 50 years. Our borough employees don't serve for 50 years. It's our volunteers, those in the fire department who have such a passion for keeping our town safe that put all those years and stay involved in, in protecting our community. So I, I thank you all for your service and I thank the entire fire department for coming out tonight and supporting um, your brothers. It's, it's, it's well noted and appreciated. Thank you. That's it. No. <clears throat> Chief Robert Bruce, words cannot express how thankful and grateful the Emerald Park community is for the action you took that day in saving the child's life. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Ron, the Presley family has been committed for many years to the fire department in Emerald Park. You are no exception. Thank you for your 50 years of service. I hope you will continue for another 50 years in good health. Amen. Pompeii, Poppy, Poppy. Uh, what do they call you, Poppy? Pompeii is beautiful. Congratulations on your retirement. You have faithfully served the Board of Emerald Park as firemen and fire marshal for many years. May God bless you and give you a long and healthy life. Enjoy your retirement. Again, congratulations. Mayor, at this time, I would ask everyone to please rise for the dismissal of the honor guard from the Elwood Park Fire Department. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a five minute recess before we convene the rest of the council meeting. Thank you. Mayor, we're gonna reconvene the meeting, um, moving on to ordinances on first reading. First ordinance tonight is resolution R241-18, introduce ordinance 18-20 on first reading. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize the 2018 road resurfacing program in by and for the borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey to appropriate the sum of $1,130,000 to pay the cost thereof and to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such appropriations and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds be passed and adopted on first reading and be it resolved that a final hearing on said ordinance will be heard in the municipal building on Thursday, August 2nd, 2018 at 7 p.m. or as soon thereafter as the same can be heard at which time and place all persons interested in said ordinance can be heard. Be it further resolved that the borough clerk be and he is hereby authorized to advertise in a legal newspaper. You notice of introduction, a final hearing is required by law. I have a motion to introduce the ordinance. So moved. Second. Second. 
Close the roll. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Gian Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golubek? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution R242-18, introduce ordinance 18-21 on first reading. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize the acquisition of various equipment and machinery for the use of the Elmwood Park Fire Department in, by, and for the borough of Elmwood Park in the County of Bergen, State of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $72,000 to pay the cost thereof, to make a down payment, to authorize the issuance of bonds, to finance such an appropriation, to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds, be passed and adopted on first reading and be it resolved that a final hearing on said ordinance will be heard in the municipal building on Thursday, August 2nd, 2018 at 7 p.m. or soon thereafter the same can be heard, at which time and place all persons interested in said ordinance can be heard. Be it further resolved that the borough clerk be and he is hereby authorized to advertise an illegal newspaper. A notice of introduction and final hearing is required by law. May I have a motion to introduce the, the ordinance? So moved. Second. Hold the roll, please. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Abstain. Dombrowski? Yes. Gian Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golubek? Yes. Motion carries. <clears throat> Resolution R243-18, introduce ordinance 18-22 on first reading. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize various improvements to the Elmwood Park Public Library in, by, and for the borough of Elmwood Park in the County of Bergen, State of New Jersey to appropriate the sum of $2,225,000 to pay the cost thereof to make a down payment to appropriate a contribution from the public library to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such appropriation to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds be passed and adopted on first reading and be it resolved that a final hearing on said ordinance will be heard in the municipal building on August 2nd, Thursday, August 2nd, 2018 at 7 p.m. or soon thereafter as the same can be heard at which time and place all persons interested in said ordinance can be heard be a further resolved that the borough clerk be and he is hereby authorized to advertise an illegal newspaper a notice of introduction a final hearing is required by law well, i may have a motion to introduce the ordinance so moved second mayor can, roll, please mayor can we just have a quick discussion is that allowed discussion on first reading usually yeah no i just, I just want to have discussion yeah I just yeah go ahead no, I just wanted to, uh, I'm going to be abstaining on this uh, just because uh, um, due to the fact that I was on the library building committee with the council and the library, I just need a little bit more time before I can really uh, make the decision. Um, I have a couple of more questions. I just need to look at the numbers a little further. So I'm just going to abstain for tonight's uh, vote. Thank you. Anybody else maybe? I may be abstaining as well because my brother works for the library. Okay. Call the roll, please. On roll call, Council Members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Abstain. Dombrowski? Yes. Gia Domenico? Abstain. Pellegrin? Yes. Golubek? Yes. Motion carries. Our final ordinance on introduction tonight is Resolution 249-18, Introduce Ordinance 18-19 on first reading. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled an ordinance establishing a bus stop at the intersection of Mola Boulevard and Van Riper Avenue in the borough of Elmwood Park be passed and adopted on first reading. And be it resolved that a final hearing on said ordinance will be heard in the municipal building on Thursday, August 2nd, 2018 at 7 p.m. or soon thereafter mm -hmm. the same can be heard, at which time and place all persons interested in said ordinance can be heard. Be it further resolved that the borough clerk be, and he is hereby authorized to advertise an illegal newspaper a notice of introduction and final hearing is required by law we have a motion to introduce the ordinance so moved second hold the roll on roll call council members ballesteri yes Cherto. yes dombrowski yes gia domenico yes pellegrin yes Golubek. yes motion carries mayor i just want to make a note that um, all of these ordinances that were just introduced on first reading uh, they will be heard for second reading at a special council meeting, uh, a special public council meeting to be held before the next work meeting on Thursday, August 2nd, 2018 at 7 p.m. That was primarily done because of the time constraints uh, put upon the library board in the event that they do decide to award the bids for the renovation at the library. Uh, they are on a time frame to be able to award that bid and we need the financing in place in order for them to take that action. So this, those will be adopted uh, all four of them will be adopted at a special public meeting prior to the work session on August the 2nd. This evening on ordinances under second reading, we have resolution R244-18, introduce ordinance 18-14 on second reading. 
whereas a public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled a capital ordinance of the borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, appropriating an additional sum of $210,000 for the replacement of the water tank in, by, and for the water utility of the borough of Elmwood Park, providing that such additional sum so appropriated shall be raised from the water utility capital fund balance of the borough. And whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, June 21st, 2018, and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same, now therefore be a resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled a capital ordinance to the borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, appropriating an additional sum of $210,000 for the replacement of the water tank in, by, and for the water utility of the borough of Elmwood Park, and providing that such additional sums be so appropriated and shall be raised from the water utility capital fund balance of the borough, pass on final reading. Mayor will need a motion to open to the public. Yes, may I have a motion to open the floor for public comments. So moved. Second. <clears throat> call the roll. On roll call to open to the public, Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golbeck? Yes. Motion Is there carries. Anyone who wishes to speak regarding this ordinance? Anyone from the public? No? If no, uh, no one wishes to speak, I will close the public portion. Mayor will need a motion to adopt the ordinance. So moved. Motion. Second. Call it back. Hi. <clears throat> call the roll, please. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Call it back. Yes. Motion carries. Resolution R245-18, introduced ordinance 18-15 on second reading. Whereas a public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize the replacement of water lines at various locations in, by, and for the water utility of the borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $270,000 to pay the cost thereof and to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such an appropriation and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. And whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, June 21st, 2018, and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance, we're given the opportunity to be heard concerning same. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize the replacement of water lines at various locations in, by, and for water utility of the borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $270,000 to pay the cost thereof and to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such an appropriation, to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds, pass on final reading. Mayor will need a motion to open to the public. Okay. <clears throat> Can I have a motion to public, uh, to open to the public? So moved. Second. Okay, call the roll. On roll, call to open. Council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Mm -hmm. Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Gio Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golbeck? Yes. Motion Does to open carries. Anyone wish to speak regarding this ordinance? Anyone from the public? No? In a close. Uh, the public portion. Can I have a motion? So yes. moved. Second. Okay, call the roll. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Do the medico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion. May I have a motion to introduce the ordinance? So moved. Second. Call the roll again. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Do the medico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution R246-18, introduce ordinance 18-16 on second reading. Whereas public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize the replacement of sewer lines and ejector pumps at various locations in, by, and for the borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $290,000 to pay the cost thereof and to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such an appropriation and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. And whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, June 21st, 2018, and that further consideration of this ordinance will be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same, now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize the replacement of sewer lines and ejector pumps at various locations in, by, and for borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $290,000 to pay the cost thereof and to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such an appropriation to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds, pass on final reading. Mayor will need a motion to open to the public. Yes, may I have a motion to open to the public. So moved. Second. 
Can you have the roll call the roll? On roll call to open, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Kolobek? Yes. Motion carried. Is there anyone who wishes to speak at this ordinance from the public? If no one wishes to speak, I'd like to call, close the public portion. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Full roll. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Mayor, I need a motion to adopt the ordinance. Okay. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Full roll, please. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Kolobek? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution R247-18, introduce ordinance 18-17 on second reading. Whereas public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize the making of various public improvements and the acquisition of new additional or replacement equipment and machinery and new automotive vehicles, including original apparatus and equipment in by and for the borough of Elmo Park in the county of Burgett, state of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $412,000 to pay the cost thereof and to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such an appropriation to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. And whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, June 21st, 2018, and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same, now therefore be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled a bond ordinance to authorize the making of various improvements and acquisition of new additional replacement equipment and machinery and new automotive vehicles, including original apparatus and equipment in by and for the Borough of Elma Park in the County Bergen State of New Jersey, and to appropriate the sum of $412,000 to pay the cost thereof, to make a down payment and to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such an appropriation to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. Pass on final reading. Mayor, you need a motion to open to the public. Okay, Mayor, a motion to open to the public. So moved. Second. Second. Hold roll, please. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion carries. Is anyone <coughs> from the public who wish to speak on this ordinance? One, close to the public. Yes. I need a motion. So moved. Second. Call the roll. On roll call to close, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion carries. Mayor, need a motion to adopt the ordinance. Okay, can I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Hold the roll. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion carries. One more. Resolution R248-18, introduce ordinance 18-18 on second reading. Whereas a public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend chapter 27 of the code of the borough of Elmwood Park entitled solid waste management, adding 27.5 at L, and whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed the meeting held on Thursday, June 21st, 2018, and that further consideration of this ordinance will be taken up at this meeting, and whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given the opportunity to be heard concerning same, now therefore be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend Chapter 27, the Code of the Borough of Elmwood Park, entitled solid waste management, adding 27.5 at L, passed on final reading. Mayor, need a motion to open to the public? Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. On roll call to open, Council Members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion to open passes. I have a motion to introduce the ordinance. Yes. Actually, anyone from the public, Mayor? Does anyone wish to speak on this ordinance from the public? No one does? No. So I close the public portion. So moved. Second. On roll call to close, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion carries. Mayor will need a motion to adopt the ordinance. So moved. Second. Move the roll, please. On roll call, council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Jim Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Motion carries. 
mayor i may make a comment on this particular ordinance please i just like to let the the residents know that this particular ordinance now we put into place a no trash pick up before seven a m we've had some problems with uh residents complaining about um early morning pickups and noise and stuff like that so there will be no trash pickup of any metal containers before seven seven a m and not until after seven p m Mayor, moving on to the consent agenda this evening, we have resolution 250-18, payment of bills, resolution 251-18, confirmation of payroll, resolution 252-18, appointment of counselor for summer camp program in the recreation department, resolution 253-18, execute service contract for borough planner with topology, resolution 254-18, change order one, Elmwood Park water tank replacement, resolution 255-18, change order two, Elmwood Park water tank replacement, Resolution 256, 18. Resolution approving an additional bus stop at Mola Boulevard and Veterans Place. Resolution 257 18. Resolution approving outdoor event application to police department. Resolution 258 18. Approve block party requests. Resolution 259 18. Appoint part time building subcode inspector Frank Lasata. Resolution 260 18. Approve additional funding in the police department for Arthur T. Ball Esquire. Resolution 261-18, redeem third-party tax lien to Stefanik Avenue. Resolution 262-18, redeem third-party tax lien 15 Chestnut Street. Resolution 263-18, redeem third-party tax lien 185 East 54th Street. Resolution 264-18, addendum to the resolution to redeem third-party tax lien 185 East 54th Street. Resolution 265-18, redeem third-party tax lien 39-41 Caruth Ave. Resolution 266-18, resolution authorizing retirement comp compensation for Pompey Diarco. Resolution 267-18, renew liquor license for the 2018-2019 license term. Resolution 268-18, approve 2018-2019 new used car dealership licenses. Resolution 269-18, award proposal for design and construction services for Birchwood Park improvements to Alimo Engineering. Resolution 270-18, a liquor license transfer of license number 02113317007. And resolution 271-18, a resolution to accept this consent agenda. We have a motion on the consent agenda. Uh, Mayor, I'd like to remove resolution 253-18 from the consent agenda, please. Mayor, can we take a motion um, for all consent agenda items absent 253-18? Can you have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Okay. Call the roll. On roll call for the consent agenda absent resolution 253-18. Council members Ballesteri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Gian Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabet? Yes. Motion passes. Bear with me one second. Okay. Uh, I may have a motion on the consent agenda. The rest of the motion may have a motion. We did. We did. Yeah. Okay. Resolution 253-18, removed from the consent agenda, execute service contract for borough planner topology. Whereas the mayor and council are interested in redeveloping areas of the borough, and whereas mayor and the mayor and council have met with Philip Abramson from Topology to discuss possibilities for the borough, therefore be it resolved that Mayor Francesco A. Caramagna is hereby authorized to execute the contract submitted by Topology for said services for calendar year 2018, and be it further resolved the establishment uh, of a not to exceed amount of $21,000. Mayor will need a motion on the resolution. So moved. Second. Golabek, Dombrowski, and now it's open for discussion. The reason I pulled this from the consent agenda, um, back in December when we solicited RFQs for borough planners, we decided collectively as a committee to throw out the proposals and go back out um, and solicit a second time for borough planner because we weren't happy with the submissions. We didn't receive any, I think, for the second submission. and. The reason I originally abstained on topology was because they were solicited by the borough. So we went in and asked them to come in, and right after they came in, it might have been March or April, I don't recall exactly which month it was, I wrote an email um, to our borough clerk asking that we should also solicit other planners just to see what they bring to the table. If we went and handpicked one, let's bring in a variety of them just to see what they offer. Um, which is why I originally abstained on appointing them as a borough planner. 
I will vote yes for this resolution because I don't want to hinder the processes of evaluating the borough and see how we could move forward and only because there is not to exceed amount of $21,000, but I was disappointed with the way that they came to us, but I'm optimistic in what they will show us. Anybody else has a comment? Yes, Mayor, if I could just add, um, <clears throat> for those, the residents who don't know, um, we did bring on Topology, who is um, our planning um, firm and, and planner at this time. Um, so this, this service contract is really a $20,000 contract for this uh, company to come up with a very comprehensive document that, that um, goes to all our business districts, um, evaluates who the current property owners are, what are the zoning requirements, and w using the space surrounding the businesses and, and the different residential districts, um, we'll try to try to use this as a manual for current business owners, current property owners, and prospective investors in Telmwood Park. Um, we were given a sample of, of, another, of another community that did this project, um, and it is really a comprehensive document, something that I don't think has ever really been done in this town uh, to list that. Um, to address the councilwoman, twice we went the, the legally advertised way to get planners. We as council people could have asked planners to submit during that time. We tried twice and wasted four or five months and we brought in someone and listened to them. You, you had sent an email, but you kind of just threw it in there saying, I would like to listen to someone else. Um, maybe if you were more insistent or gave an actual name or email. I'm sorry, can you reread that email? Because I'm pretty sure I submitted the you name did. of Burgess. So don't but, tell me that I submitted but is, no Is that all you did? Yeah, I okay. asked you guys to do it. What other authority do I have? Not authority, but I mean, you what mentioned. What else could have I done? You mentioned it at the, at the end of an email. Um, and uh, did you do anything after that to try to get this individual in? I don't set the agenda. The mayor sets the agenda. I right. requested it. My request was ignored and never replied to. So I don't know what else you wanted me to do. Bring him in here just so he could talk during the public comments? I, if, I, if I were genuine and wanted to hear to many planners, I would have done more than, than what you had done to... Um, I mean, you could call me just genuine if that's your opinion of it, but I don't agree with you. Okay. Excuse me. The name that you mentioned was the Porches? Yes. Burgess, if I recall, he was a fire by the previous, um, <clears throat> for, uh, the, the majority was a Republican majority, they fired Burgess. I don't look at it politically, if it was Republican no, or Democrat. Not, I asked for well, a variety of planners to be brought in. Okay, maybe I said the wrong thing. But the thing I have to say, the old, the people who were before they fired him, there was a reason for that. So you want to bring somebody who was fired? Uh, well, I didn't know about that, but it would have been really and considerate on your part and respectful to reply me, that in an email me. to me. I discussed this with you in the back, okay? And I told you. I told totally you understood that. So. I think I'm entitled to an opinion, right? And to request okay, something for it to but be ignored. I think you made right. a political statement, and you know about it. We ex explained to you, I explained to you in the back what happened, but you still insist. So what, what am I insisting? Something. How am I just saying something? I'm stating the facts of what occurred. I understand that. But the only thing is, you object on anything. anything well, you, I up. clearly, Mayor, with all due respect, you didn't listen to my comments. I said I will be voting for this because I don't want to hinder the process, and I'm optimistic to it. So I am not objecting to it, and you clearly were not listening to my statements. Okay. Anyone else, please? No? Okay. On roll call, council members Balistieri? Yes. Cherto? No. Dombrowski? Yes. Gian Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golubek? Yes. Motion carries. Under departmental reports this evening, we have library board minutes for May 21st, 2018, finance department report for June 18, and recreation advisory board minutes for May 21st, 2018. Mayor will need a motion to receive and file. Thank you, Mayor, motion please. So moved. Second. For the roll. On roll call, council members Balistieri? Yes. Cherto? Yes. Dombrowski? Yes. Gio Domenico? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Mayor, that concludes my portion of the agenda. Thank you. I guess we start. Sure. I will start. Um, on behalf of the Ambulance Corp, they are always seeking um, additional volunteers. So if you're looking to get more involved in the community and get out there, please contact 201-796-8077. They will also be hosting a fundraiser at Blue 42 on July 26th from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. where part of the proceeds go to the Ambulance Corp. On behalf of the Personnel Committee, 
we started negotiations with the white collar union which is our office employees and um we did honor many heroes and the dedications of town but um the pillars of our towns and the people that get services and move the town forward truly and the faces of our town that you interact with on a daily basis are our borough employees and they do a fantastic job delivering the services we sit up here and we set policy but they are really the ones that implement it and i just want to commend all of them uh, for doing a terrific job and being a great face of the borough thank you that's it mayor thank you uh, a report on the DPW. There have been several repairs made to the catch basins that were reported in. The street sweeper has been uh, undergoing major uh, maintenance, so that program will resume hopefully by next week. Um, our parks are, have continued to have repairs made to damaged equipment and graffiti. Uh, we are working together on this issue. Uh, in our recreation, our summer camp has approximately 335 campers. Uh, the, it's going well, the trips are doing well, the, the kids are having a good time. Our summer concert, July 5th, was the Infernos performed. They were excellent. Uh, we had a nice turnout and um, we, are, we have some upcoming ones. Uh, August 9th, Garden State Radio. August 30th, Beginnings. And September 22nd, the Food Truck Festival and Eagle Mania. Uh, thank you to our recreation director for putting these uh, concerts together. Um, I think it's going to be a, a nice way for the community to come together. Uh, registration is ongoing for fall recreation soccer, crew travel soccer, and the before and after care program. Uh, summer street hockey program did very well and there's a fall program this year for the very first time. Uh, our director is looking into a Zumba class in the evening. So hopefully we'll be looking at that for the fall. Um, and also there were discussions uh, about a uh, ceramics class to possibly be run in the fall for the children in the evening. Uh, Color Me Mine is what they're called. And hopefully uh, her goal is to possibly have this done for each holiday season. So uh, everything is really going nicely and uh, progress made. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, the next uh, homeowners association meeting is uh, September 26th at uh, 7 p.m. It'll be candidates night. I believe they'll have the uh, the council candidates as well as the uh, uh, board of education candidates at that meeting, so that you can hear a little bit about them, who they are, uh, what they do and want to do for the uh, the community. Um, outside of that my wife probably won't be watching this but i want to wish her a happy anniversary it's our anniversary tonight and uh yeah we all know what i'm in for since i'm here um so uh congratulate or ha congratulations happy anniversary uh thank you Mr. thank you mayor well happy anniversary uh, wouldn't want to be you when i get home uh before i get cannoli for you <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're 180 days into the into the year, and our fire department has answered 253 calls so far. Obviously, uh, that's quite a few more than we're used to. Uh, a lot of the calls are for faulty uh, carbon monoxide uh, alarms. A lot of them for uh, faulty uh, fire um, fire um, alert alarms. But the fact of the matter is, is it's good that you have them. Uh, it's good that you have them in your homes, and I do remind you to please replace the batteries as well as replace them every few years. I believe they're good for 10 years, uh, and they should be re they should be inspected and replaced. Um, if anybody who came in tonight that is sitting here, they would have seen that we received our new Rescue 2 vehicle. Uh, it was parked outside. It was opened up to the public to see. Um, it's a it's a vehicle that will be uh, housed at rest at uh, Company 2. Um, and will be used for um, many swift water, um, swift water actions and or any kind of rescue uh, needs in this town. I would like to let everybody know that this Sunday between 9 and 1 p.m. Um, the uh, Rescue 2 will be conducting swift water uh, drills down at the Passaic River, down at the marina. Uh, you will get to see how they would uh, react if there was somebody who might have jumped off the bridge into the water, drowning victims, so on and so forth. So between 9 and 1 p.m. on Sunday down at uh, the marina, the public is welcome to come out and watch as well as look at the apparatus as well. 
Um, we will be receiving our new engine three um, on September 19th. So we are gaining, we are, we're taking our old vehicles and replacing them with new, um, and these vehicles will last us at least 20 years. So I would like to, um, you know, let the people know that you you will you're seeing new things coming into the town because it is by law it's our requirement to replace them every 20 years. So uh, that's why you're seeing a lot of things happening now. Uh, and again, finally, I'd like to just once again congratulate Battalion Chief Robert Bruce for receiving his life-saving award. And I'd like to wish uh, Poppy Diarco and congratulate, first of all, congratulate him on 50 years of active service to our fire department and wish him well on his retirement. And also Ron Pressler for uh, 50 years of active service and still to this day goes to calls. So he's going to be 50 plus. Uh, and I'd like to congratulate them and thank them from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pellegrin. Yes, good evening, everyone. My police update. Our junior police academy, ages 10 to 13, has been ongoing this week. I heard the children are really enjoying this experience. And tomorrow, Friday the 20th at 11.30 a.m., they will have their graduation ceremony at the Elmwood Park Middle School gym for all the children. There be, will be 60 children that will graduate, and all are welcome to attend. So it's really been a great start to this program. And then next week, ages 14 to 16, the academy will run. And again, their graduation will be 11.30 on the 27th, also in the middle school gym. National Night Out will be held August 7th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. And everyone knows this is a community police awareness event held all over the United States. August 24th, our local PBA 185 will be sponsoring their eighth annual golf classic at Preakness Valley Golf Course. For more information, please contact Officer Randy Garillo at 201-796-0700. And our newly hired police officers will be starting the academy on Monday, July 23rd, with a graduation date of December 14th. And lastly, the stop signs have recently been installed on Spidell, making Lincoln, Washington, Gilbert, and Falmouth four-way stops. And this was to keep the traffic slowed down by the school so we can keep everything much safer for the children. And then Chamber of Commerce update. Their next meeting will be on September 18th, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. It will be at the Elmwood Park Elks Lodge. It will be a pasta night fundraiser for the Elks. The price of the event will follow along with the guest speaker information and all are welcome to attend. I'm just throwing out the date now, but there's going to be definitely a lot more information coming and I will report on that next month. And that's it. Thank you. Thank Progress. You. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, my report tonight is solely Board of Education, but there's plenty to get through. Uh, so this November there will be three three-year seats up on the Board of Education and a one-year seat. Um, the deadline to file for uh, running for Board of Education is July 30th at 4 p.m. at the county. Um, so you, a resident needs to get 10 signatures and obviously be a registered voter to do that. There will be two meetings of the Board of Education in August. August 14th, they actually just scheduled a meeting this evening for August 14th. And their um, uh, monthly meeting August 28th. Uh, on Monday, uh, maybe I'll go with something else first. Um, the $3.5 million that I had mentioned at the last um, council meeting um, did actually come through. The, the uh, state's budget, um, that was um, the budget deal reached by the governor and the legislature uh, gave the school district $3.5 million additional dollars in state aid. Uh, the small problem was that this was for the budget year that started July 1st. And the Board of Education spent February, March, and April putting their budget together. So while this was good news, it, it you know, took took a lot of hard work in the last few weeks to put together um, where that money will end up going. Um, so in the end, tonight the Board of Education decided to take out of that three and a half million dollars, 2.5 towards instruction and programs into the actual budget and give back one million dollars to the taxpayers. Um, and how that'll work is um, basically whatever they agreed their tax levy would be back in April when they decided it, it will come down one million dollars. So if the projected, I think the projected increase when they did it in April was 110, 120 dollars on the average home, more or less, that will come down significantly. There will still be some type of 
tax increase on the obviously the average assessed home there will be some kind of tax increase on the board of on the school and that number is not one hundred percent clear but is going to be nowhere near the hundred plus number that that was agreed upon in april so the board of education decided to take this step and defray the tax levy but i do understand that this is a one time use of this money for bringing down the taxes or lowering the tax impact next year that million dollars will hopefully still be there from the state and then the board will have more time to figure out which programs and which um, areas of the budget to incorporate them in so if you'll just bear with me i'm i will read where this 2.5 million dollars which uh, accounts they w will go into um, there wasn't there wasn't much detail at the meeting tonight as to what actual positions this this would actually create and so forth. I didn't hear that. There wasn't much of a presentation. So this is all that I have. So out of the 2.5 million, 60,000 to speech salaries, 35,000 um, ser uh, security services, 375 for technological improvements, 255 for aid salaries. Um, there's an additional 500,000 for tuition for Votech and special education students, 250,000 for special ed therapies, 100. 235 for instructional salaries, 60,000 for guidance salaries, 120 for LLD salaries, 60,000 for preschool disability salaries, 120,000 CST salaries, uh, 75,000 for the media center, 150,000 for employee benefits, and 110,000 for transportation special uh, for special education. So this is, uh, I think, the district's effort to really make the district whole, fill the positions that have either been cut in the past or that are needed to provide an adequate education. Um, and then when the next budget cycle st uh, starts, they'll have time to really wrap their heads around that one million. Now, as we get into further years, if the state continues to do what they're doing and, throw, and, and pumping money into districts that are underfunded and they keep this mentality, I expect that we're going to get an increase every year. It may not be the tune of millions every year, but just this money doesn't, barely gets us to halfway funded according to the formula. Um, so this is a good start. Um, I hope the Board of Education really hones in on, on this money and uses it as efficiently as possible to raise the bar um, in our district. As we all know, also the district is uh, starting their search for a permanent superintendent. On Monday, there was an open forum where about 20 or so community members attended and uh, listened uh, and gave feedback as to what they want to see in their next superintendent. My understanding is that they will begin the interview process in August, maybe into September. The, the Probably the closest month where they may be able to appoint someone is October, and that's ambitious. So we may look into 2019 as to when the actual person will take over. Um, I offered my personal two cents, uh, you know, as a member of the community, as a former board member, a former student. Seems like the last 25 years, um, every superintendent has been um, has take um, has been an internal employee, someone who was just under the superintendent before that person left, and we've just promoted from within. Uh, two of those three um, superintendents did not stay their full contracts and chose to work in another district. Um, I my personal opinion is that we really need to get someone who is in it for the long haul, who has a very clear and um, devoted um, interest in Elmwood Park, and will focus on Elmwood Park. Um, so I, I, I offer that in hopes of the Board of Ed coming to a, a good decision. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, due to recent vaccination of Claudia Ross from the Planning Board, I'm appointing Joseph Mulligan to fill the position on the Planning Board for the uh, expired term ending December 31st, 2020. Now we can open to also my comment is tomorrow I'm going to Italy. Hope you don't miss me too much. And uh, <laughs> I, for a little vacation and a little celebration. I'll be back August 10th. So I hope you guys have a nice summer. I'll try to have a nice one myself. Uh, I'm done, sir. Okay, may I have a motion to, to open to the public? So, so moved. Second. Second. Sorry. Call the roll. Roll call. Council Member Salisbury. Yes. 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 Is there anyone from the public that wishes to be heard? Please come forward, state your name and address.
Rich Terwinski, 42 Walnut Street. Keith, just for the record, uh, on the first reading on that bond ordinance for the library, as you know, I am on the library board, board and the construction committee. Uh, can you just clarify the two point, or the 2.25 million, where that's all coming from for the uh, taxpayers? Because I've been starting to get some calls that we're bonding for 2,025,000. Well, when I read the preamble uh, to the specifically says um, to appropriate the sum of $2,225,000 to pay the cost thereof to make a down payment to appropriate a contribution from the public library. So it takes that. into account the $1.8 million that is um, in the capital account at the library. No, and I, then the delta between that and the, the, two, the 2 million two twenty five would be raised through uh, debt service authorized by the mayor and council. Now, I understand that uh, completely. Just for the, the public's edification, $1.8 million is coming from the library fund that they accumulated over the years. Correct. That's it's in the capital reserve account. Yes, just for that. Uh, on another note, I'd like to commend the uh, Robert Bruce for his heroic actions. Pompey Diarco and Ron Presser for the 50 years of service and Ron's continued service. As I was on the council and I was the commissioner one time, I always say about the fire department, this town does not know what they have. Most of these communities that ha do have these volunteers, I sometimes feel don't appreciate them. Uh, it's, it will come to a point someday, and I believe it will happen, that these towns will have to regionalize their fire departments because we're going to need a paid fire department eventually because the volunteers just aren't there. There's not enough incentives for them. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Can you tell me what the name of that planner was that you hired? Philip Abramson. Philip, he's Philip with Abramson. the firm Topology. Where's he from? Um, I think he's based out of Jersey City. Does a lot of work in Morristown. Um, done some work in Pompton Lake. You have a list of projects that he's completed. Like yeah, he actually came in with an entire uh, proposal based upon some of the things he did on the main thoroughfare in Pompton Lakes, which is somewhat comparable to market. Yeah, so you have a, uh, a sheet that we can look at and see what he's done. Yeah, you come into the office. Tonight. Yeah, I'm, cu I'm curious just to see what he's done. Sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to speak? Good afternoon and good night, guys. And I have a question what I want to tell you, Councilman and Mayor and Councilman Woman. Please, you got to listen to me because it's really got a big problem again. That's 34, the Locust Street Street, I keep seeing cars turn around and go back down all the day long. And they just turn around the driveways and they just back up and they go right down and the cops are not around to see them. You think that's a one way, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, it's a one way street. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. and, and they keep going down that one way street all the time because they go right around 80. You a camera over there? Yes. We need a camera or something down there because it's every day I see so many turns around, <coughs> cars around. Yeah. Yeah. Honest to God, I mean, truthfully, well, I see you all day long, and I'm outside, see you every day long, and I see them turn around, and I keep saying to them, one way street, they don't through, care. Through you, Mayor, we'll talk to the, I'll talk to the chief about it, okay, and see if we can do something. I'm just trying to tell you, you they turn around in around my area all day long, you, you can see, and, and no cops around. We'll have a conversation with the chief. Okay. Yeah, on Locust Street. Mm -hmm. And I got good news to tell you. I got great news to tell you. Good. You're going to love this one. Foxes are gone. We don't have many more foxes around. They're gone? They're gone. A lot of them have died. Thank you. I'm not lying to you. People told me awesome. they don't see them anymore. I asked many people, and they say, no, they don't see them anymore around. But... I was gone for a month or two. I'm finally back in town, 
And now I'm going to try to see what's going on more, because I'm watching this town more and more now, and I'm round now, I'm back. So now I'm going to try to see what else is going around, because, you know, it, it, it's, it's strange when you go away and you don't know going on the own house. And now I'm back, I want to see what's going on, because, you know, there's a lot of things you don't know about. There's a rabbit in my yard now, bunny rabbit. There is. And there is raccoons. And there is, a, I saw a walking raccoon that was broken leg. It was right in front of the city hall, came out, the, the sewer line, and came out and went in the parking lot, in the backyard. Oh. And I was watching them, because you had a meeting the same day when that, that raccoon came out, and it was a broken leg, because even somebody said to me, that's a broken leg he has, because he didn't walk too good, oh and couldn't walk too far. <laughs> Thank so, you, Kenny. Anything else, Kenny? Anything else? Um, no, but I just want to say I'm happy I'm back here. Okay. Welcome, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Ken. Thank you, Ken. Anyone else? Uh, Keith Work, 308 Gilbert Avenue. Uh, I'd just like to uh, thank uh, uh, previous chief uh, Ron uh, Pressler and Pompe Diarco for their service, their 50 years of service. Uh, it's uh, you know, like someone said, 50 years. A lot of people don't put 50 years into their jobs, uh, into their lifetimes. But uh, well, I'd like to just thank them for their uh, their time and their effort, and and also like to thank uh, Rob Bruce. Uh, I think it's part of his DNA. I know he doesn't say he's a hero, but he is a hero in all of our minds. But uh, He's worked with me for many years, being a, a, a volunteer as a coach. Many teams, while his kids were playing baseball, and it's 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 part Rob. I mean, it's uh, he you he, and he. Someone asks him for help, he'll be out there running. So, but I like to uh, congratulate him on and thank him for his, uh, you know, saving the young girl's life. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? No one else. No one else wish to come. I move to close. So Meeting. moved. Second. Aye. Call the roll. Everybody, everybody in favor? Aye. Aye. You got friendly. Mayor, you just need a motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion. So moved. Sure okay. Uh, remember, this meeting is being uh, been videotaped. It will be on Cablevision, channel 77, on Tuesdays, 12 p.m., Thursdays, 9 a.m., on Fridays, 8 a.m. The video is also on files in the same time slot. The video is also available on the Vero website, www.mopartnj.us. I have a motion to adjourn. Again? Again, so move. <laughs> Second. Okay. Aye. 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 I don't know the difference, but I go with the first feeling. Yeah.